We don't need to talk about it a lot, but um, I mean, to me, it was an impressive thing because you were doing it and you were still playing right. while you were doing it. And you were also starting to scratch your entrepreneurial itch and starting to, you know, look at things. So, mm-hmm. so I, I just, I just found that to be really impressive. Yeah, so, so, so talk, talk to me about that. Talk to me about the decision to go get your master's in business and, right. and what, what it was like doing that while you're also playing an NFL schedule. It was hard. It was very hard. <laughs> uh, I thought about quitting a couple of times. I, I start back to the impetus of that, like how that started was my finances. Okay. So I came in and I was some, you know, I, look, I looked at my account and then sometimes it would be a couple of weeks before, before I looked at it again. And then, you know, about year two, year three, I'm like 23 at this point, you know, my advisor at the time um, started to introduce. <laughs> There's a whole story there. <laughs> that, that's another, we need another podcast for that. So my advisor at the time started to kind of introduce these alternative investments, right? Mm-hmm. Like these cash flowing investments that, you know, could offset my expenses. And I was like, okay, I need that. I like multiple streams of income. Sure. And so sounds great. Sounds amazing. <laughs> um, who wouldn't want it? So we started, you know, diversifying into these investments, a couple hundred thousand here, a couple hundred thousand there. And I'm getting these coupons every month, right? You know, one company is like, Investing into like um, I think like uh, what are those called Walgreens and CVS's like it's some I don't remember but it was something to do with that I'm like okay that seems pretty safe and then another one was uh, uh, a government contracting company that did like fire alarms for the military I'm like okay that seems boring enough I mean let's 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 you know these things all sound good by the way right they, exactly <laughs> <laughs> so they they hook you in yeah because there's nothing like too exotic yeah. it's just like boring printing money type yeah. of thing yeah I'm like, yeah, right, yeah cvs cool. walgreens and uh and government contractors all sound right. pretty like, boring exactly i'm mm-hmm. like all right cool that's that uh, we'll we'll look into that and so i actually flew i remember flying out to dc and you know i met with the ceos and sat in his office and shook his hand and was like he's like yeah we have all these government contracts you know around the world and you know this is our pipeline all these things and so for about 18 months i'm getting these coupons every month and I'm like, okay, this is this is good. Like, and I tell well, what, what do you mean when you say coupon? I, like dividends, I, dividends. Okay, okay. So like, I'm okay. getting okay. Okay, you know, you're getting dividends. Getting dividends. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So every month I'm getting these dividends, coupons, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, cool. This is working. It's working. So I hit my friend like, hey man, look, you know, hey, I'm getting this. I'm getting, should, I'm getting dividends. You should look into this. I'm yeah. getting dividends. So look into this, and you know, he ends up coming in. He invests his money in. Right. And so I'm, I'm looking at their practice. They got about 80 athletes, right? Mm. Big name guys. If I tell you the names, you'll know exactly who they are. And they're putting like millions into these investments. I only put a couple hundred. You know what I mean? They're putting bills in. And so everything is going good. And then I remember one time, uh, I think 2013, the government shutdown hit, right? And so I don't know if it was related or not related, but the coupons, dividends, whatever you want to call it, started drying up. And I'm like, I'm checking that. I'm checking my account. Like, all right, I didn't get my, I didn't get my payment this month. So I call my friend. Hey, yo, did you get your payment? He like, nah, I didn't get mine neither. I'm like, oh shoot, we gotta call a buddy. Hey, what's up, man? What's up with these payments? I ain't. Oh, everything's good, Derek. Don't worry about it. It'll, you know, a couple months, the government shut down, slowing everything up. It'll be back online. I'm like, all right, sound it makes enough sense. Two or three months go by, no more pain. I'm like. All right, what's really going on? Oh man, look, the guy, he's doing some she was doing some shady stuff. And long story short, fast forward about six months later, all of our money's gone. <laughs> gone. <laughs> just gone. Like, what happened? Gone. And I'm just like, what do you mean gone? Oh, we're gonna file a lawsuit with the SEC. Oh my God. All these things. And so uh, from that, uh, it started to be revealed that our advisor was hand in hand yeah. with those guys of course of course so um and you know fast forward the whole firm blows up they lose all their clients they, they can't practice anymore in the financial industry we're out a couple hundred thousand dollars some guys are out like up to six six million and so it's just like it's messy it's like the traditional athlete and money story that you hear it's like dang like i didn't want to be that but luckily the investment rule I always use is if I can't afford to lose it, then I don't need to invest. In uh-huh. it. Yeah. So right. So I was able, you know, it didn't, it didn't, it wasn't completely detrimental to me. It, it hurt and it was a learning experience, but I was able to come back from it. And so from that process, I'm like, you know what? Never again. I'm going to understand what my finances are doing. I'm not going to take a passive role. I'm going to get involved in this thing. I'm going to learn it because I used to sit in meetings and just shake my head like you didn't know you didn't even know what they were saying really at all right speaking a different language right. i'm just like yeah 
Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, you understand? Yeah. And that was pride. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's pride. It's like I don't want to look dumb. I don't want to look like, like the traditional athlete with money. I don't want to fit that stereotype. And so I would just sit there and just shake my head. And at one point, I don't know what happened, but I just woke up like, man, this is dumb. Why am I acting like I know what the hell going on? I don't. I'm going to start asking questions. This is my money. So I'm going to take a more intentional, active role. And, you know, we'd be in meetings and I was like, oh, wait, mm, mm, run that back. Explain it to me like I'm six. Right. I don't understand that. Yeah. I've been playing football all my life. I'm an expert in this. I'm not an expert in this. Yeah. So I started to really learn and dive into my finances and really that evolved. And by the way, all of a sudden now you're asking the questions that every wealthy person in the world asks. Exactly. Explain it to me like I'm six. Exactly. Right? (laughs) Exactly. Because the minute they start talking at like a... You know, graduate right. degree level Mm-mm. don't make sense. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I don't, don't get that. It's my money. 